Chapter 3 Prologue. Okay, so what I want you to do as far as Chapter 3 goes is first, before we get started, I want everybody to have those alphas that we made. We're all going to use those alphas. We're going to take them and put them in one directory on each student's hard drive and we're going to unzip them. So they're going to go into Z Startup. You can place all the zips into one folder and then uncompress them very quickly by right clicking on them and hitting uncompress if you're on a PC or just by double clicking each one on a Mac. What I'm hoping to do is, you know, throughout this series, I'm, I'm always worried about classroom activities more than anything else because I want you to start working as a team or a collective agency of artists, not just a single artist with a goal of learning ZBrush, but I want you to start seeing what I'm going to be seeing, and that is when you unzip them, you're going to find something common about all the alphas in there. Okay? And I want you to look for that commonality with the alphas. I'll point it out, and I'll point it out now just because this might be sold as to an individual that does not understand this. Um, but you're going to find out, as a team of artists, everybody produced just about the same alphas. Everybody produces the same alphas. Why is that? Well, I taught you how to produce a flat-headed screw, cracked earth, and some kind of alien hide. So I can almost guarantee that everybody produced those three alphas once you unzip them. So what does this teach you about interacting as a team? Don't follow me verbatim. <laughs> so, why you did that is you went through the instructor's videos, the ones I just gave you for chapter 2, verbatim, absolutely verbatim, and produced the same alphas I produced, the same way. I guarantee there's probably a few students that did it almost down to the, the last uh, molecule of polygons being changed. Okay, because I, I've seen it. I see it all the time. So, that's what I'm going to save. You know, with these lessons, there are certain things that you should follow, and but I make sure that um, at the end, to say something like, you know, produce some brushes. That means you be creative and produce some brushes that are very unique. Um, I wouldn't waste your time producing the same ones that I produced in the videos, however. I'll point out things like that throughout the series, but know that I'm kind of trapping you not only as a student but a team of students also. So that is Prologue Chapter 3. Enjoy? Please move on to the next video.